Good morning class, my name is Alicia Resch and I will be doing a tutorial on how to use the databases for the library. Now, as you can see, we are on the James C. Kirkpatrick Library homepage uh, under A through Z databases. Now, normally what I would do is that I would go to Academic Search Complete because I feel like you can find a lot more um, a lot more materials based on your research topic. Now, my topic is going to be, I'm just going to put in music and history. Let's see what pops up on there. Alright, so as you can see, music and history came up to about 28,193 results. Now, if you wanted to narrow that down to where you either want a journal or magazine, then let's say we wanted to get an academic journal. It'll update it and then broaden that down to about 9,000 results. Now, if we wanted a full text, click that. All right, so we're getting there, about 5,288. And then, before you really begin your search, you really should think about what is it, like, specifically that you wanted it to do. So, like, for me, if I can find it on here, I am wanting to... Sorry, my, my laptop's acting weird. So what I'm wanting to, to do, say like, I want to do a research project on rap music. So I would want to click on this one, which is controversial rap themes, gender portrayals, and skin tone distortion. So it, it basically talks about some, some of the content involving in music videos for rap songs. And then, <clears throat> So as you can see, there's the full text link over here, which when that pulls up, mm -hmm. this gives us about, okay, come on. All right, so about 24 pages, so a good reasonable amount, but I don't really want to read all that. Um, so, okay, well, I'm, I mean, I highly encourage you to read all of it, but in this case, we're just going to skim through it, where it shows, like, controversial themes, journals of broadcasting and electronic media. And so basically, whenever it comes to looking for research materials, you really want to find all of the necessary documents that comes with it so you'll have more information to work with. And then when you're done from over there, then you can use that for your research project. And now, say, if you wanted to find um, some databases that are involving with a certain subject, then you can click on this tab here and then it goes everything from art to history and all that jazz and then and then kind of like I said you got to be careful with some of the subjects that you pick because sometimes they may not have as much information as you think they would and once that's done that's pretty much all you would need to help you out with your research project good luck and have a great day